Hello everybody, my name is Super Splat, and welcome to, I guess, a LEGO collection. Um, so just a little brief history about me and LEGOs. Um, I've had LEGOs probably my entire life, one way, in one form or another. I'm trying to remember what would be my earliest experience with LEGOs other than playing LEGO Island, which is still a great game. I really want to play it again. I have not played it since I don't know when to be perfectly honest with you um so I think more of the video games got me into it I may have played with the figures beforehand but I honestly don't remember at all um I got enough that I've got a bunch in the basement I've got a bunch of Legos that were probably a mix of my own and my cousin because he had a bunch in his parents house and whenever I came to visit it seems like I was always bringing some back with me uh to my mom's not my mom not wanting to do that at all <laughs> move his whole thing anyway um so yeah i played with so i built with legos played with legos for a very long time was in to everything lego and then grew out of it and then last five years i've gotten back into it legos um but I was always very particular about what sets I was getting. I wanted just sets that, it seems like I had to fulfill a prerequisite, if you will. It had to be sets that were small, because they wouldn't, that way they wouldn't take up a lot of space, and Legos that weren't expensive, because I'm buying them. So, I'm gonna go through, so I have a whole list made up, and I'm gonna go through by category, if you will, or like series or line and just go through whatever I've got. So the first, to start things off first, is gonna be the LEGO City Air Show Jet. Um, it's in, I'm gonna pull up the box. I would ideally bring these all up on camera, but because they're here, they're everywhere, uh, it's just easier <laughs> to do it with uh, just Google Images. So it's just an 87 piece build. It's uh, build 60177. I liked it. It's a nice build. Uh, the stickers, there weren't too many of them and that's okay. Um, again, just, it was like $10 and just it's 87 pieces. And again, this was just to help me get back into Lego. We'll obviously get back and we'll, I'll talk more about more than I get into them, I guess. And then to follow that up would be Lego City Jungle Buggy. This was gonna be this was a lot smaller build than I thought. I mean, I know it's only 53 pieces, but it was a lot smaller build than I thought. So you get the buggy, you get the figure, and then you get a little treasure hunt thing as if you're in Dan Jones or whatever. Now we come to Lego Overwatch. When I first saw that they announced. Um, Overwatch Lego sets, I was all over it. And then I became over with, uh, I got over Overwatch because I wasn't playing the game as much. And I most recently kind of retired having this set on display, mostly just because it was taking up not a huge lot of space, not much space, but enough that I, I don't want it on display anymore. Um, so I got this on Reddit gifts in case I haven't already mentioned that. It was a, it's a nice build. Okay, so a little more of a story with this build afterward, not during building it. Um, long story short, I have a can of Coca-Cola that has my name printed on it. And all of a sudden, I looked on my shelf and it broke open somehow. It was seeping through and it got the base... I got some of the base bricks on the bottom, got them all sticky, so I took those apart, put them in hot soapy water, and boom, all gone. So I'm thankful for that. <laughs> and then this is just a quick random assortment um, before I delve deep into finding multiple images of different sets, a right? bigger collection of sets. Uh, then this last one is going to be the um, Lego Marvel Super Heroes Mighty Micros Spider-Man and Scorpion. Again, this is just when I'm getting back into Lego. I didn't anticipate the figures to be so small. 
Um, obviously the builds were going to be small, but I didn't expect the figures to be so small because so before I got back into collecting Legos, I got Lego Dimensions, which was, uh, how can I describe Lego Dimensions? It's, ex it's an expensive Vendature, that's for sure. It's um, expensive to get into. I think I may have bought it at GameStop on sale for maybe about $75 or so. And then I built the whole teleport thing set and I played the game. The campaign was not great. I think maybe more or less what their goal was to sell as many expansion sets as they can, kind of like an EA kind of thing. Um, and I did buy, I bought Back to the Future because I wanted to play like, I wanted to play Back to the Future and Lego. So I figured that, I think that was the only expansion that I bought. Um, and then again, it just, it took up too much space. So I traded it in to a secondhand store and I don't have them anymore. I do have the extra pieces. I just found them actually from the initial Lego Dimension set, there was like a whole bunch of extra pieces, so I found those and I'm keeping them. Alright, so we will come back to the next set, if you will, series. Okay, so... Here's a whole um, different line. Uh, Legos I do have, I have... So, again, getting back into Legos, again, just college students still, getting back into Legos, trying to save money um while getting back into a hobby so i found these lego creator three and ones and i absolutely love these i still have yet so basically the gimmick is that you can take the same set of pieces and you can build three out of three different three different builds out of it so for the example like this is the uh the drone explorer you can either make it Sorry about that. You can make the, the drone itself, you can make a speedboat, and then a regular plane. I still have yet to actually tear one of these down and then to rebuild it in something else. So I actually have gotten really close to doing that with one of them. I'm not sure which one off the top of my head, but I will point it out. Um, so now this is going to be the Dune Buggy 3-in-1. I think I ended up making the plane I believe I made the plane out of this box this one I made the drone next we come to the air blazer which I made the the actual helicopter for some reason I thought I made the water plane I didn't I made the helicopter and then we come to the green cruiser which I'm not sure which one I built. I think I built the boat. I don't think I built the car. I think I built the boat. And I was like halfway tempted to see if it would float. Um, but it's plastic, so it's not going to float. Uh, deep sea creature. Find a different... Okay, yeah, no. Um, sure. Deep sea creature. Hold on, I'm really struggling to find a good, decent picture here. Uh, deep sea creature so you have the shark and then you can do a angler f angelfish or squid i just stuck with the shark just because it looked more it looked really cool then besides to have like that many teeth on display i thought it was a really cool idea mystical creatures this is one of them that i was thinking about tearing down and making something else uh, i did stick with the dragon here i wanted to change it to the spider but never did and then you can otherwise make a Control? I don't know what that is supposed to be, but... And then we come to the sports car, which I still have, and I actually have a minifigure sitting in this. Um, I have Spider-Man Noir sitting in this. <laughs> we'll get to him later. And the last of my LEGO Creator 3-in-1s is the deep underwater robot. I actually made the uh, submarine here because it just reminds me of the, the submarine in um, GTA 5 so that's kind of simple reason for it 
I think I got really close to wanting to make the robot, and then I'm like, mm, no. Do the sub. All right, off to the next line. Okay, so now off to the Star Wars stuff. And again, this is still just keep in mind when I was still getting back into Lego. Obviously, this is just accumulated in the last five years. I'll have to try and dig back any of the stuff that um, I, uh, I have possibly still. So this is the uh, Millennium Falcon Micro Fighter with Chewie, and then again, just a Micro Millennium Falcon. Self-explanatory there. And then around the same time frame, probably, was the uh, TIE Fighter, First Order TIE Fighter Micro Fighter, which I actually have a, I think it's still on my Instagram, I believe. I built it and I just took a video of him just like flying right, right past the camera on my phone. <laughs> and then we come to the Inferno Squad Battle Pack. I think I got this as a gift. I, I'll be honest, I'm not sure what the Inferno Squad is from. I want to say it's from maybe Battlefront 2 campaign. I see uh, the protagonist here in this thumbnail. So I, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but it's Star Wars and I still cared. Next is the TIE Fighter TIE Advanced Prototype Micro Fighter. No, this is the one I did with the um, the video. I'm sorry, yeah, it was this one. And then last, we come to the Luke's Land Speeder, which is not this one. This one, sorry. Um, the Land Speeder itself is actually really, really neat. I enjoy it. The um, the cover for his. Oh, that's what those are. Okay. So, in the instructions, like, he's got his, um, binoculars there. The directions never made it clear what they are, and it just told me to, like, put them in a compartment here underneath the middle engine. So I'm like, I don't know what the heck this is. Yeah, the instructions never made that clear. Okay, well, I'm glad I know now that it's his binoculars. Really cool, um, now that I know that. The C-3PO figure is really nice. I really like it. Alright, so off to the next line then. Alright, next is my Harry Potter stuff. And this shouldn't be much of a surprise. <laughs> but I have Harry Potter Legos. So, first we got the House of Gryffindor set. Which is obviously very dated because... This is before they applied skin tones to at least licensed um, sets. So, like, you still got Ron, who is coated in yellow. I actually found this within the last year, and it's still sealed. It's back from Sorcerer's Stone when that movie came out. So, I'm really hesitant to open it. So... I don't know. I don't know. Next is Harry and the Marauders map, which I actually have two of. I had one that I built a long time ago, and then my mom was cleaning out in her closet and found another one, so I built that. So now I got two of these built, <laughs> which is a little weird. Um, again, oh, they actually did put in the actual skin tones for the characters, and I don't know why Snape is glowing green. I don't. I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, same thing here. Oh, wait. This is supposed to be the bogger. Because then here we go with um, Lupin's Classroom set. Which I actually found most of the pieces for when I was digging out the bins in the basement. In our basement. I mean, that's supposed to be a bogger, obviously. But I don't know why. Unless it's the same thing, it's a bogger. But it shouldn't be because he never encountered a bogger. But he had the Marauder's Map. I don't know. And then we come to Expecto Patronum, which is from Prisoner of Azkaban. I mean, not that one, but this is a new set. The Dementors are really interesting to build, I'll be honest. So, 
I thought they were kind of interesting to build. And then my problem with sets like these, I mean, this was a gift, so it's not, I can't really argue much, but one of the problems I don't, I had problems I have with these are like, this is one piece, this is one piece, and this is one piece. It's like, there's no, I don't know how to put it. Like, you can't put them, like, all together. Like, they, well, like, here. Like, it's all just separate pieces. I like builds, I like sets that you can just keep them as one cohesive unit as opposed to a spot here, a spot there, and a spot there. But, what are you going to do? And now we come to something rather similar, which is the Umbridge's Encounter. Grop was interesting to build. I just, I mean, I just based on the box art alone, I didn't think that his legs were going to be able to move until I actually built him. And I'm like, okay, this is really cool. I have Grop. I actually still have him. He's sitting up there next to some of my Marvel stuff. But, um,. Yeah, I was really impressed that you can actually move his legs. Next is more expensive stuff that I've been getting into with Lego. So here are the Hogwarts moments. I have all four. This is the Herbology class. Obviously, I got this one first because I'm a Hufflepuff. Really liked this. Like, there's so many like little intricate pieces and like I just, I don't know. I really liked. Like, just to cover our, uh, the box art alone, like, it's a book. I'm like, you're selling me this. Like, this, like you, I'm sold. Like, this is just so a cool concept that it's a, that you can unfold it out and then it's a book. I, I love it. The one thing I will say, I think it's probably just because I haven't gotten back to Lego. So here's the um, Transfiguration set. So the one critique I do have about, and it's just probably the new minifigures in general, and I, it's probably just because I've been out of the loop for so long, is, and I get it, like the kids are smaller than the adults. I mean, for the longest time, I know it's, but everybody was the same height. And it makes sense that the kids are smaller, but it's like, you don't know at one point or how old the kids are supposed to be in these sets unless they're literally like in their first or second year but that's my only problem and then like you can't move their legs i mean because you can with cedric because he's an older student so that's still tell well okay <laughs> cedric died in book four so they're i don't know what year he was in though so they were at least like they had to have been younger than book four so they had to have been 15 at the absolute oldest when creating these sets. But that's my only critique is I don't like the kid figures because their legs, I mean, I obviously could just swap them out with any legs I do have that correspond to that color, just black. But I don't know, this is the one thing I don't like is that they're really small. Now I did notice that the paint, the the paint decals, like the details on the faces of the figures are really different, at least in my opinion. I don't know how or why, but they are. They look a lot more um, cartoony than realistic. I guess is the best way I can put it. And then here's the uh, Charms class. This is the last one I bought. I bought these at the same time. So The one thing I don't like, I mean, for some reason it must be just my build. I'll try it again or try to figure it out, is that um, my book for the rate for the charms class, my book doesn't close tight. I don't know why. There's like a gap, like yay big in it. I don't know why, but there is. So, and we'll go to the next and the last line that I have. Sorry about that. So just a little bit of a um, honorable mention. 
is going to be the Mega Constructs Gyarados set, which I got in a Lego or a, a Pokemon themed Reddit gift exchange. This is my largest build to date, except for a build I just got, which will be in the next video, at 352 pieces. This build was a pain, and the only reason is because of the body, and because you have to orientate them. You gotta orientate them, like, just every, like very particular way. I mean, you're built, you're literally building them, they're the exact same size, but yet they're different <laughs> at the same time. So I found it a little irritating and I got a little frustrated, <laughs> but I got it. So Gyarados, hats off to you. Now I don't have these built per se. I do have them, they exist. Um, another old Harry Potter one. This is actually still before the skin tone um, application or whatever if you want whatever you will is the um, escape from privet drive set from the chamber of secrets set because I actually still had when I was digging through my Legos to sort them out the Anglia was still in still built and I really hate myself that I tore it apart I don't know why but I did and I'll have to find all the pieces and rebuild them. I don't know why I did that to myself. I should have just left it alone, but I, I didn't. And then the last of the la, last of the old sets is the Shrieking Shack. Now apparently, they have not done a re-release for the Shrieking Shack of Lego sets. And so the fact that I still have this somewhat still built and I have the pieces probably still down in the basement still um, is really interesting again that they never have still re-released it so I I've considered myself very lucky that I still have all the pieces or at least the majority of them I do have pieces I don't know what the builds are exactly I do have some pieces that look like they're parts of Hogwarts Castle. I don't know what the builds are, so I'll try and figure that out at some point. As well as, and I'll probably do another video in regards to all the scattered minifigures that I have. I'll go through them, whatever. Um, just, just something to do. Interesting video to try and pull out. Now on to the last set line. Nope, not yet, sorry. Um, the Avengers War Machine Buster that I also got in a Lego themed I forget what the theme was I got it in a Reddit gift exchange I forget if it was a Lego theme or if it was it was Lego because I did mention that I was building <clears throat> the line the next line that we'll be talking about which is all the superhero mech suits I absolutely love these I don't know what it is. I guess just the idea that you can have a ton of different ways. Okay, so it's a little bit later since I last recorded <laughs> the first part of this video. Um, so what I was saying was, like, I just like that you have all these different suits, um, and they're all different depending on who it is that you're making them for, and. I don't know, just... Because I was thinking, like... I mean, obviously, the... The Iron Man one makes sense, because it's Iron Man. But then, you again, again, you go back, then you get all the Spider-Man. The Spider-Man ones, and then there's... Uh, they got one for Thanos. So it's kind of like... I was, I was thinking of this, like... Yeah, okay, this is all just in a line or a series. Like, it doesn't have to really make sense, or, like... I guess I'm kind of was thinking of it from like an Earth 616 perspective, but then I thought about it, and it's like, it's a fantasy. You can do whatever you want. Like, there could be a whole multiverse that everybody has a, a mech if they want to. So, that's why I'm just going along having fun with it. What? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, there's the Thanos one, which was the first one that I got in this line. Then there was the Thor, which I 
love this that you get a giant hammer with this I, a giant mule near I think it's so cool Captain America is also really cool because of the the shield itself and then the one thing I do really like about the Captain America one and I mean I could just look at the other ones and I'm pretty sure his set is the only one that at least to me anyway it's painted in like a matte blue it's not a glossy blue kind of like how unlike the rest of them it seems like the rest of them to me anyway when I actually physically look at them they look um, too glossy but then the Captain America one looks really like a matte blue so I like that one okay here's where we get a little bit of a a uh, little bit of um, dangerous territory that's what I'm kind of looking for so I saw this set and of course they have a Venom mech in a dual pack not in a single pack which really upset me so I'm like okay this is really cool this Venom mech I absolutely love it I'm like I need to have this so I bit the bullet and I bought it so um Yep, then you get a Spider-Man Noir for some reason or another. I don't know. You get a Spider-Man Noir figure with that. And then this is the one of the other most recent ones in addition to Miles Morales, Thor, and Captain America. Well, this one came out after is the Doc Ock and the Spider-Man one. I did build Doc Ock on a Twitch stream. Um maybe a couple weeks ago now I was really surprised how Doc Ock's mech turned out I was thinking it was going to be somewhat similar to um, this Spider-Man with the I'm not sure what to call it anatomically correct parts here but it, it turns out really well and then you got like all the individual parts um, it's really cool and I really like it the one thing I didn't like is that you get a, another spider-man mech suit oh there was another one I was thinking of getting or maybe not no there was like another venom thing hang on I think I saw it in here somewhere yeah this one Yeah, spider Mac versus Venom Ghost? No, you got spider Mac versus Venom and I don't like this suit. It looks like he's it's just I don't like the look of it so I, I thought about this later on and I think it like just retired too so I'm like eh, eh, no I'm good oh and then one more figure or one more set I forgot to mention it's gonna be the that I do have I forgot to bring it up with the Harry Potter sets but it's literally right behind me actually I can show you right here is the night bus and I did not tear it down I left it completely intact it is like just from like the original um, prisoner of Azkaban Set. this wasn't the re-release I did see the packaging or like the box art anyway for the re-release um, it looks pretty much the same I think just like the edges are rounded hang on a second while I look it up I think the um, I think the edges are more rounded than this original one okay yeah they're definitely Okay, so this is the one that I've got, is the Night Bus from Prisoner of Azkaban, and here's the newer one. Like, okay, so here's the, yeah, you can't even fit, um, oh man, I cannot think of his name. The, uh, the driver. I can't think of his name. 
the driver of the night bus, but you can't fit him. Like he can, like you can literally put the figure inside the bus and fit him in there. Where's my camera at? Yeah, like you could literally put him right there next to the shrunken head. But then here, he's just chilling on the back of the bus, like he's like on a end of a train car or something. Wait, he doesn't actually drive the bus. Wait a minute. Oh, Stan Shunpike. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so Ernie... Okay, so this is actually more accurate than... That Ernie drives the bus. Stan doesn't. Oh, that's maybe why that was a bit of a problem then. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Uh, but still, I think this is... I mean, I, I, besides that it's rounded, which I don't think it was in the actual movie, I mean, it looks pretty much the same, except again, stands in the back. You do have the, um, the back end of it on this one. Also, the beds move in the night bus on here, but I, don't, I really prefer this one better than this, but... What are you going to do? And then the one thing I don't like, and I don't know if it's just a me thing, when I built this originally a like, long time ago, is that the back wheels do not spin whatsoever. Front ones have no problem, but the back ones don't. So, again, that's just kind of getting nitpicky, or at least maybe they think this is maybe... I don't know if this is one of the first Harry Potter sets that have the actual skin tones. Because I don't remember if... They did in the Chamber of Secrets. I'm not sure. Oh well. So that is going to be it. That is my entire Lego collection, as far as I'm aware of. I know I've got a random assortment of booklets um, somewhere in the house, in the basement, in the bins. Because um, <laughs> I'm. And I know it's the wrong way to do it. I'm. I've color coordinated all the pieces in giant bags that I still got like tiny little pieces to really figure out where they go and everything sort them out so that's it for all my sets again I've, I know I've got some more Harry Potter sets but I don't know what they are so that's gonna be in the video hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to drop a like on this video and I'm still willing to consider to do a minifigure. I have, again, a whole bag of minifigures I'm willing to go through and just show them off. Like, I know I have, for sure, um, Brickster. The Brickster from, uh, from LEGO Island Games, so. <laughs> and I'm really proud to have him. I think he's, like, one of the best, like, characters in general, the Brickster. He's so great. I love him. But again, I'm rambling on, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it and stay in tune with more content like this. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.